Hey guys, thanks for joining me again. Uh, today I'm going to do part one of the uh, DJI F550 flame wheel build. Uh, I've not done this before, it's going to be my first build because as you know I've uh, used the Phantom and before that the little uh, Hubsan X4. So uh, let's make a start on that. all my kits. Uh, we've got the six arms here, one, two, three, one, two, three. We've got um, eight, uh, eight inch props and eight ten inch props. We've got six uh, 920 kV motors, uh, six 30 amp up to uh, ESCs, two bags of screw screws, one M2, one M3. Uh, a bag of uh, parts there, battery strap and a uh, cable, and then we've got our top and bottom plates. So uh, let's unpack some of this and uh, make a start. Okay, so let's start with something simple, like uh, putting the motors onto the arms. Uh, for this you're going to need the M3 screws and uh, I think it's a one and a half millimeter Allen wrench or Allen key, depends on what you call it. So, take your arm, grab yourself a motor, thread the cable through, get yourself an M3 screw, plunk it on the end of the one and a half mil, or is it two mil? Might be two mil uh, Allen. Put a tiny amount of um, thread lock on there, be careful, uh, well do your best to not get it on the plastic because uh, thread lock does eat through plastic so you only need a, a very small amount if you put too much on then just uh, take a little bit off thread lock's going to help uh, set and stop those screws coming out with all the vibrations stick it through, screw into the motor don't screw it up too tight because you're going to need to be able to maneuver the motor to make sure all the holes line up for the other motors and then just repeat the process get another screw, tiny bit of thread lock on it again not too tight until you get all four on there okay once you've got all four in just make sure everything looks right, nothing's twisted all looks good, looks lined up nicely, motor spinning and screw it in. Okay so I've got all of my uh, motors now on the arms, they're all nice and firm, got all the um, uh, thread lock on there, not too much as I say, it's just so we don't get it onto the um, plastic because thread lock will eat away at the plastic so just, just remember that. And uh, yeah, all nice and tight. Got the wire going through to underneath. So uh, next step is to uh, start tinning all our contacts on here uh, by putting a bit of flux on. I'm using a flux pen. Uh, it just makes it a bit easier and neater. Uh, so I'll put a bit of flux on each one of these contacts. Uh, then we'll put some um, soldering on it, and then we will solder the. ESCs onto the board.
So I just went a little bit wrong on uh, this bit here. Unfortunately, it fit there. the solder fell off and fell onto the side there, and I couldn't pick it back up using the soldering iron. So I used this uh, little sucker thing here. I put the uh, soldering iron onto it so it uh, melted, and then quickly pressed the button, which does that, and it sucks the solder straight back up. So you get a get it all off that contact there where you didn't want it. So handy little tool to have that. There we go. There's all the contacts now tinned. I'm just going to add a little bit of tin onto the end of the uh, ESCs as well. to add it to the board on these points so uh, the black will go to the negative and the red will go to the positive let's make our first solder I should have straightened that one out a little bit, but it's okay. So just the other five to do. Okay, so as you can see, I've got all my uh, ESC soldered on now, and they're nice and strong. Uh, I've got the servo wires going into the middle. And uh, yeah, the whole thing is... Uh, all fully soldered and nice and strong make sure you go over your solders just that make sure have a good close look after you've done them to make sure they're uh, good contacts and uh, they're nice and strong and uh, yeah that's that process done on to the next step okay so our next step is to uh, start putting the arms on now you notice you've got two red arms and uh, four white arms the red arms are going to be the front so uh, if you can see your battery terminal here at the back this is where you're going to put your uh, connection in for your uh, your battery and also the uh, LED so that's the back so you're gonna want them up at the front so what we'll do is flip it over and we'll start to uh, attach these motors and arms onto the, uh, the quad like so make sure all the wires are through freely and then we're going to take our M2 nuts or screws even take our 2mm get a bit of thread lock just a tiny amount of thread lock and then we're going to put this down onto the board So we've got all our arms on now, uh, they don't have to be too tight, you can leave it a bit loose so you've got a bit of a uh, spring in it. <coughs> what we're going to need to do is solder on our power connection. Now, you've got two cables here, red and black. What you need to do is put your uh, battery connector on there, so if you're using Deans then fit your Deans onto the end. Or, uh, I'm going to be using the XT60 leads because uh, I found them better than Dean's they're a bit easier to pull apart so uh, I'm waiting for them to get delivered so that's what I will put on the ends of these and then we're going to solder them onto here you've got two terminals left after putting all the ESC's in so red to plus and black to minus but also in that spot you're going to solder in this part 
This is out of the uh, the NASA box uh, here. So take this part out. This has got your LED on it, and uh, that will also go to the same spot, red to red, black to black, on the uh, main power uh, port on the frame. So let's get them soldered on. that complete we now have this module on and our power cable on 